Hey everybody, I am going to be doing arroz con andules and I'm going to be making um, pepper steak. Hi! <laughs> Aura says hi. I'm going to be making um, this kind of meat right here. Um, boneless beef round um, stir fry. Only it's not going to be really stir fry. It's going to be um, carne guisada. Um, it's sort of like a beef stew. Um, anyway, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna this is for the rice right here. I'm gonna add oil That's probably like a tablespoon of oil Then I'm gonna add um Where's the sofrito? Oh, this is um my sofrito, my homemade sofrito. I'm gonna add two of these. Stir it up. I'm gonna be using um sazon goya. I'm going to be using two packets. The sofrito, I'll put the link to my recipe. That's my um, cooking base, home cook, um, homemade um, cooking base that I use for beans, rice, stews, soups, chicken. Then I'm going to add um, two cans of the gadules. I, I drained the, um, the can. I'm going to add a little drop of um, balsamic vinegar. Just a little drop. That's probably like a teaspoon. I'm gonna add some adobo. I don't add salt at all because the adobo is already salty. Everything mixed together is already, it already has its own seasoning. You know, it tastes, it's salty already, so I don't add salt to it. Now I'm gonna take for each can that I used, I'm gonna add two water, two um two cans of water. That's one. Two. I'm gonna stir it now I'm just gonna let it boil and once it reaches um, the boiling point that's when I'm gonna add the rice and I'll get back to you when it starts boiling I'll get back to you now this is the meat that I'm gonna be using okay now basically what I'm gonna do for the meat is the same that I did for um, this is like what a table a, a big tablespoon of oil you can use um olive oil if you want to now I'm gonna add this is already pre um, heated up the the pots already warm so this is my sofrito again I put the link to my sofrito in the description box below I'm gonna put two. Oh my 
God, the house smells so good already. The sofrito smells so good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of the balsamic um, vinegar. Let it simmer for a little bit. Oh my God, the house smells so good. Mmm. So frito is like, it's not only a cooking base, but <laughs> it's like a Latina's house. Uh, uh, it's incense <laughs> for a Latina's house. You could smell this through the windows, under the doors. It goes through the hallway. Everybody knows you're cooking. Everybody knows you're cooking. At this point, I'm going to add one whole onion. I'm going to add one whole um, green pepper. You can add red peppers if you want to. Mix it all in. Let it simmer for a little bit. Oh my god, this smells so good, guys. Mix it all up. This smells so good, guys. Now, the meat and the arroz con andules should take about more or less the same time to cook. Let it simmer for a little bit. You don't add water to it yet. You see it, it's already having its own juices. You see that? It's already, its own juices is already coming out. So you let it simmer in its own juices. After this, you let it simmer for about two minutes. You cover the pot and you let it simmer for two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, this is what it should look like. And you see, this is, I did not add water at all. This is all its natural juices. So at this point, you add one can, which is eight ounces of the um, tomato. Five, six, and I had seven of them. 
cups of water. And at this point, I'm going to cover it halfway. You know, like a little bit like this, I'll leave it open. And I'll periodically check up on it. When it starts to get dry, then I will check up on it to see how tender it is. And if it's still hard, if I don't feel that it's cooked enough, I will add more water. I will, I will get, when once I get to that point, I'll show you. But for now, this should take about maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And then I'll, I'll take it from there. Now you see the arroz con gandules. The gandules are um, boiling at this point. So at this point, you add the rice. I already cleaned it. I rinsed it off. I'm going to, I used um, three cups of um, rice mix it up then I'm gonna cover it up like like this much just like I did with the meat and I have it on medium flame and periodically, like every two minutes or so, I'm going to check up on it, okay? All right. Every two minutes or so, I checked up on the pot. And this took about seven minutes, okay, on medium flame. Now, when you see that the rice is at this point, that's when you lower the flame to the lowest that you can. And then you stir and mix the rice. And arroz con gandules. And at this point, you cover the pot. And every two minutes or so, you check up on it and you, you stir it and stir it. You might have to add a little bit of water at some point if the rice is still not cooked. I'll let you know. But until then, um, you just keep on um, stirring it up like every two or three minutes and then cover it up, stir it, cover it up until the, the rice is done. But um, yeah, as you can see, I already stirred it up at this point. You cover it, very low heat, very low flame. You cover it and you check up on it every two minutes. All right, I've checked the rice already like three times. So it's been like maybe 10 minutes after I last um, checked up on it. So I, what I did was like 10 minutes ago, I added, I forgot that I also add um, the Spanish olives. These are manzanilla. These are the ones that don't have the pit in the middle or the, the seed in the middle. These are regular um, Spanish olives. These are the stuffed with the minced um, pimento in the middle so I added as you can see so I'm gonna check up on it now again this is what this is how I check up on it I just I just stir it over like this it's on very low flame and then I zigzag the rice flatten it out like this and then cover it up this should be done in another five to ten minutes now the um this is the meat it's been already um 25 minutes so this is still gonna be for another i i think it's gonna be for another um 20 minutes it'll be done in another 20 minutes this is a slow cook um this is a slow, slow, a slow way to cook your meat. I like it this way. I'd rather use this than the regular, um, the slow cookers that everybody's using. I like to do it this way. Anyway, this should be done in about another 20 minutes. The water, as you can see, has evaporated a lot already. Now, at this point, I'm going to add, um, the olive oil. Um, I mean, the olives, I'm sorry. The Spanish olives. You can also add potatoes to this. You can also add carrots and celery, but um, I'm not going to. That's just a suggestion, the carrots and the potatoes, that's just a suggestion, but I'm not going to do that. 
So anyway, I'm gonna let it um, boil or simmer for another 20 minutes and I'll get back to you. All right, so I think the rice is done. This is what it looks like once it's done. Yeah, the rice is done. The rice took 35 minutes to do. Now, I'll get back to you with the end results of the meat. All right, so this is the end result. This is the arroz con gandules. It took about 30, 35 minutes to do. And this is the meat right here. The meat took about, yeah, almost the same, about 40 minutes to do. This is what it looks like. And you can serve this um, with a salad, whatever type of salad, corn on the cob. Avocado is good. Avocado salad. And there you go. Hope you enjoy. Any comments, any questions, please leave in the comment section below. Check out the description box where I'm going to be leaving the link to um, the sofrito recipe. And there you go. My arroz con gandules and steak, pepper steak or stir fried pepper steak or carne guisada because it's like a stew kind of, of meat. God bless. Besitos. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.